Well, hello everybody, I'm Steve Montelli. Today we're taking a look at a couple of wallets from Carl Friedrich. Uh, Carl Friedrich is a London-based company that actually has a bricks and mortar store in London. And they sell uh, bags, you know, briefcases, uh, ladies' handbags, backpacks, things like that. They sell tech cases for your tech needs and they sell three different kinds of wallets. This is one of the kinds of wallets. This is called the Swanfield. Now, I set it up like this because this is how the wallet comes. So this one, I'm showing the wallet, but they sent two. So it comes like this, and then it comes like this. So I got a black one and a brown one. Now, I'm always a little partial to brown because it shows the details better. Uh, but the company, Friedrich, used to be called Opperman. Okay, now it's no longer called Opperman because there was a, a trademark dispute with that name. Now, just a quick Google search, I put in Opperman and a, a fairly large company named Opperman came up. So I can see where there could have possibly been a little dispute going on there. So Mathis and Nicholas, his brother, both Oppermans, created and started doing Opperman back in 2012 when they couldn't get exactly what they wanted in a wallet. And it's evolved since then into a bigger brand. And they're still trying to build the brand. And, and you know, I'm sure they want to go in a direction of a, of, of a Prada or a Louis Vuitton or something like that. That's the sense I get from their website. That's the sense I get from um, emailing back and forth with Mattis is they want to have a big brand. Now, I've been down the big brand road before with other guys wanting to have big brands. And I get the stuff in, okay? I, I, I open it up. The packaging's very nice, but the product is just, you know, eh, you know? And so I, I talked to Mattis about this talk. I emailed back and forth with him about about my concern ahead of time. And he said, well, you know what? I'll send you a couple of wallets and, and, and you see what you think. So the wallets got here and, and they actually came from the UK. That They're designed in the UK. It's like the wallet says on the inside, uh, designed in London, handmade in Italy. And I'll get to, the, I'll get to more of the wallet here in a second because it's really, it's really a beautiful wallet. But he said, you take a look at it and, and you see what you think. You tell me what you think after you look at it. So they came in the mail. First thing I did was open it up and give it the sniff test. Okay, now if you haven't heard the sniff test before, the sniff test is infallible. It is the vaunted Montelli sniff test. Okay, you open it up and you stick your nose down in the deepest part of the wallet you can. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it right now. And... I give it the sniff test, and if it's a good leather, I can tell. Okay, I mean, I can tell good leather from bad leather. This is good leather. Now, this is an Italian leather, and this is what I would imagine an Italian leather would smell like. Not like some of the other stuff that I've smelled that people have tried to tell me they're a brand, but they're not. These guys are actually doing a great job at what they're trying to do. Now... There's a difference I see between being a small leather company and doing a great job and being a bigger brand-oriented company and doing a great job. Because you can be the bigger brand, that's all fine and dandy, but if you put out a bad product, you got nothing in the end. These guys are putting out a great product. So design-wise, they put out three different wallets. I don't have all three. I just, I just have the middle-sized wallet. This is called the Swanfield. They have one called the Hatton, which is more of just a single, just a couple of pieces of leather with some card slots in the front and a slot in the middle to put some cash. And then they have more of a traditional bifold called an Armwell. Okay, so let's get down to the nitty and the gritty of looking at the wallet design-wise and uh, what it does well and go from there. So. I've loaded up the, you know what, and I thought this was, I thought this wallet was black. The more I looked at it, the more I realized it's a dark blue. See the difference there? See that? And when I really look at it 
under the light, because I have a skylight above me. So it's shining real light down on it. It's a dark blue, really pretty. I had not, uh, just on the casual look, I thought it was black. I was wrong. So here's what I've done. I have put one, two, three cards in here. I have put two cards in here. Here, one card. I put one card in there. I put two cards here on the outside, okay? And then I stuck cash down inside of here. Now, what I've stuck in here is, and you younger guys may not have ever seen these bills, okay? These are $2 bills. See? They're the real deal, too. They're $2 bills. They just don't... They just don't get much general circulation. One, two, three, four. Sorry, there's five, there's five $2 bills here. That almost sounds like a wooden nickel, doesn't it? So five $2 bills that I am going to push into place. Now, this wallet is going to have to be broken in a bit, okay? But I think the design is really good. I mean, I, okay, I'm going to take one card out of the quick draw pocket. Now the quick draw pocket is fairly loose. Okay, so let's say the quick draw pocket could easily hold two cards. Now what is tight are these pockets here. So I would actually probably take out this bottom card and just do a couple of these pockets to start with because these pockets are fairly, the first time I put the cards in they were tight and now they're actually getting a little bit better after putting a card in. So let's, here, let's, let's do this again. See, it's a little bit of a push. The tolerances are really well done on this. I mean, it's a little bit of a push to get it in there, but once you break it in, it's going to be okay because it's going in easier this time than it did the first time. Okay, man. As usual, when I put cards in a new wallet, okay. What I what I would do is I would take out one of these cards and I would stick one down in like this, and I would only put two cards in there. Okay, I just I don't like the look of three cards being in there, and that's just that's just me. You know, I just don't like that look. So, you know, I would put two cards in there. Obviously, it's got a slot for three. You may differ on my opinion of that. So I've got two cards in the back here, which fit really well right out of the box. And I've got the five bills. And it's okay, you know, it's okay. The dark blue, dark blue, not black. Everything fits pretty good. I'm gonna put my real stuff in here. I have seven cards. So I'm gonna try putting seven cards in this somehow and it may or may not get done successfully, but I'm gonna try. Um, but yeah, Carl Friedrich. I keep wanting to say Friedrichsen, but Carl Friedrich, that's the name of the company. Mattis and Nicholas Opperman started it. I told her their whole story. Cool wallets, well done, good leather, good craftsmanship. I can highly recommend them for your wallet needs should you be into this kind of a wallet. But it was a good job, guys. Thanks for sending these out. Talk to you all later.